So this is going to be a quick review because normally if I see a movie and it's bad, then I have a lot to say about it and it makes for a longer review, but I really don't have a lot of negative things to say about Desolation of Smog. I mean, it was like nearly three hours long and it really didn't seem like it. The movie's paced incredibly well, especially considering it's a third of a 300 page book. So we were watching like a hundred pages worth of dialogue and description stretched out into a three hour movie. I just wish I didn't have to wait a year to see what happens next. I mean, I feel like there's gotta be 20 minutes left in this story, but I'll still see it because Desolation of Smog was awesome. Those dragon effects, oh my god, it was amazing. I was expecting to see the dragon and go, oh, okay, you made that in After Effects, so it's a giant puppet. What, did you just steal a page from the Jim Henson book? But no, it was really, really good. I wasn't thinking special effects, I was thinking, oh damn, he's gonna get eaten by a dragon. They did a great job with the voice work. I, again, I was thinking, talking dragon, I'm just gonna think that's funny, but no, it was scary. Like, they did a really good job making that a scary voice. They should have had Benedict Cumberbatch voice Bane from Batman, because that would have been terrifying. Your punishment must be more severe, Mr. Baggins. So yeah, this is a great movie, but it ends on a cliffhanger. It, it's basically Empire Strikes Back. And Empire Strikes Back was awesome, so why would you think that this movie wouldn't be awesome? There were a couple things in the movie that made me laugh, but they were like really little things that you can't really fault them for. Like there's subtitles for when people are speaking in Elvish or Orkish. Uh, Kate from Lost is in this movie and she plays an elf. There's a scene where, you know, there's a battle because it's Lord of the Rings and an orc is all like, get the she-elf. And I had to read that because you know I don't speak orc. And on the screen, it just, it looks like shelf. Get the shelf! And the other thing, uh, this is kind of spoilery, but not really because, I mean, the movie doesn't end. It's a cliffhanger. But yeah, if you don't want to get this sort of non-spoiler thing, then stop watching. They try to defeat the dragon in the same way that they try to defeat the alien in Alien 3. And I mean, clearly it wasn't gonna work because they didn't have a sprinkler system, but it was really cool to watch. Still though, I was thinking that, that's, that's Alien 3. First of all, that's not gonna work because we've already established that like, it's a dragon. It can't be harmed by heat or, you know, brute force. Second, we saw this in Alien 3, and it's not going to work without a sprinkler system. But still, it made for some really great shots. Just a fantastic action sequence. So I can't really fault the movie for that. So yeah, The Hobbit. Go see it. It's awesome. I don't know why I acted like there was more to say, because that, that's, that's the end of that story.